two. And Pastor Bob has been speaking on dispensations. Last Wednesday we had, uh, it was beautiful, powerful. The love, like a love story. And as I was studying in the book of Ephesians, there were five priceless topics that just touched me. And even in that book of Ephesians, it was just talking about the, you just see the demonstration of the love of God. So I just want to go ahead and just share coming from Ephesians. Beginning at verse 1, and you he made alive when you were spiritually dead and separated from him because of your transgressions and sins. And I put myself in there. And you, Doris, he made alive when you were spiritually dead, when I was spiritually dead and separated from him because of my transgressions and sins. It says, in which you once walked, you were following the ways of this world, influenced by this present age, in accordance with the prince of the power of the air, Satan. The spirit who is now at work in the disobedient, the unbelieving, who fight against the purposes of God. Among these unbelievers, we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, our behavior, governed by the sinful self, indulging the desires of the human nature without the Holy Spirit and the impulses of the sinful mind. We were by nature children under the sentence of God's wrath, just like the rest of mankind. And when I read that, it was like, wow. But thank God for his love. Thank God for his grace, dispensation of grace. But God, being so very rich in mercy because of his great and wonderful love with which he loved us. Even when we were spiritually dead, separated from him because of our sins, he made us spiritually alive together with Christ. For by his grace, his undeserved favor and mercy, you have been saved from God's judgment. That was a hallelujah for me. That was a hallelujah for me. God's grace. And it said, and he raised us up together with him when we believed. And he seated us with him in the heavenly places because we are in Christ Jesus. That was the being in him. No works of ours, but because we are in him. Regardless of what we may have done out there in the past, but because of the love of Christ has brought us, we can stand boldly before our Heavenly Father. Because when he looks at us, He's not looking at that filth. He's, he sees his son, yeah. Jesus Christ. And he raised us up together with him when we believed and seated us with him in heavenly places because we are in Christ Jesus. And he did this so that in the ages to come, he might clearly show the immeasurable and unsurpassed riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus by providing 
for our redemption. For it is by grace, God's remarkable compassion and favor drawing you to Christ, that you have been saved, actually delivered from judgment and given eternal life through faith, through faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, not through your own effort, but it is the undeserved, gracious gift of God. Nothing that we could have done, worked for, but it was because of Jesus Christ. Now, I wanted to just share about those the five priceless things that I saw in Ephesians chapter 2. And that's going to be in the 10th verse. For we are his workmanship, his own masterwork, a work of art, created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking path which he set so that we would walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. The creation. We are his workmanship, his artwork. So as I look out at my brothers and sisters, you are a master of art, built by the creator. We are a work of art. And I know sometimes some people might not think, or I can I put myself, well, I didn't do or cross every T or dot every I. And sometimes you just want to be hard on yourself. But it is Christ in us. In us. We're, we're a work of art. Ephesians 2 and 12. It says, remember that at that time you were separated from Christ, excluded from any relationship with him, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenant of promise with no share in the sacred messianic promise and without the knowledge of God's agreement, having no hope in his promise and living in the world without God. But that covenant that we have is a contract. It's a promise that we are his people. In Numbers 23 and 19, if you can put that up there, please. We are his people. Numbers 23 and 19, it says, God is not a man that he should tell, that he should tell or act a lie. Neither the son of man that he should feel repentance or compunction. For what he has promised, had he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? God is not a man that he should lie. He's given us a promise. And we believe his promise. We are the workmanship of him. We are the art of God. Ephesians 2, 16. And in that we also see the cross. It was by the cross that he was able to reconcile us back unto himself. And it says, and that he might reconcile them both, the Jew 
and the Gentile, united in one body, to God through, cross, through the cross, thereby putting to death the hostility. And in my reading, the Jew and the Gentile, some of their, the practices that they were doing, and it was causing the hostility. And then also when you look and see what's happening out here in the world as far as what's going over, you see things that's going on with Israel and what have you. They're warning with the hostility, but thank be to God and what he has done. He came that we might have the peace. And it's because of what he did on the cross, not just for the Jew, and, or for, he did it for all of us and has brought us together as one, as one body. And he came and preached the good news of peace to you, Gentiles who were far away, and peace to those Jews who were near. For it is through him that we both have a direct way of approach in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers or aliens, outsiders without rights of citizenship, but you are fellow citizens with the saints, God's people, and are members of God's household. That's what he did for us on the cross. Brought, it, brought us together. Put an end to the hostility. Ephesians 2.19 so then you are no longer strangers, I want to read it again, or aliens, outsiders, without rights of citizenship, but you are fellow citizens with the saints, God's people, and are members of God's household. Fellow citizens with the saints. Amen? Amen. Put to death the enmity. Now when I looked that up as far as enmity, it was talking about the state of being hostile towards something or something, or someone or something. Something was needed to reconcile both groups into one body. Nothing could do that except the cross of Christ. And Christ came and preached peace to him who was far and peace to him who was near. The cross of Christ was the solution for both the Jew and the Gentile. In his flesh and blood that was sacrificed on the cross, Christ was able to abolish the old dividing covenant law and replace it with his new covenant law the gospel of peace. Amen? Amen? And how was that done? The scripture lets us know that no, that we cannot come to the Father except through Jesus Christ because he is the truth, the way, and he is the light. It is through Christ Jesus we both have access by one spirit to the Father, which is built together in Christ for an habitation of God in the Spirit. Ephesians 2, 18. It says, for it is through him that we both have a direct way of approach in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, outsiders, without a right of citizenship. But you are fellow citizens with the saints, God's people, and are members of God's household. 
what a blessing. And then there's some that don't receive that, don't really believe that they have that direct contact with God. There are some that believe, well, no, I have to go through this baptism, or I have to go through this ceremonial, but God, through his son Jesus Christ, has made it easy. He has made the way through his son, that, that access that we have, just knowing and believing in the son. The unity between the saved and their God. And this is where the enemy wants to come in and wants to bring in the disunity. But thank be to God that in Christ Jesus, he wants us to, ha to be in unity. God wants us to be in unity. And I thank God for this church, for what the shield that we scribe for unity. We scribe to love one another and to encourage one another. Amen? Amen. It says the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are united in working together to save us. Christ suffered on the cross, and the Spirit disseminated the message of the cross in order that we have access to the Father. And in this present time, both the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ intercede for us when we seek access to the Heavenly Father. So whether it is in their finished work or whether in their continuing work, we see the three who are God united for our good. Philippians chapter 1 and 6 it tells us that we are confident in this one thing, that he who has begun a good work in us will complete it until the day of Jesus' return. I want to go to the 20th verse, but I want to go ahead and just recap as far as those five, I said the five C's, the creation knowing that we are God's workmanship, the covenant, the promise that he has given us as his people that we can boldly come before, boldly come before the throne of God. The cross, which was able to reconcile us back unto our heavenly father through the cross. And then the church, one body, we are God's household. And then the citizenship, the fellow citizens with the saints. The 20th earth, it says, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone in whom the whole structure is joined together, and it continues to increase, growing into a holy temple in the Lord, a sanctuary that's dedicated, that's set apart, and sacred to the presence of the Lord. And in that, I see that's the body of Christ, in whom the whole structure is joined together, and, is con and it continues to increase, growing into a holy temple in the Lord, a sanctuary that's dedicated and that's set apart and sacred to the presence of the Lord. That's that sanctification. In him and in fellowship with one another, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. That work that he has begun in us, 
knowing that he is going to perfect that work. God will perfect that work. And as he perfects that work, we're scribing. And as he is building in us, he's given us the power. And thank God for his grace, his grace and his mercy. Because without his grace and his mercy, there is no way possible. But we see, at least when I was reading this, I saw this in Ephesians. Thanking God for his grace. Because in our human nature, we can't do it without him. But thank God he made a way through his son Jesus Christ. Grace came on the scene. Grace came on the scene. In him and in fellowship with one another, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. We as the body of Christ, being able to share the good news to someone who doesn't know how much Jesus loves you and that he died for you. It brings them hope. And then the peace of God that surpasses all understandings. Philippians, I know we, we went over that again, but Philippians 1 and 6, and he says, Confident of this one thing, that he who has begun that good work in you, he will perfect it. He will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. So as I look out, the, you are the workmanship. We are the workmanship of God. And art, artwork. And it's all because of what he did on the cross. That's the love he had for us. That while we were yet in our sins, he died for us. Thank God for grace and his mercy. Thank God for all he has done. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank God for his creation. Thank God for the covenant. Thank God for the cross. Thank God that for the church, the body, and that we are a citizen of his. We are his people. We are his people. Amen. So I thank and I praise God just for what the blessing that I receive in just reading, going through that chapter in Ephesians chapter 2, how much he loves us. How much he loves us. And to know that we are his workmanship, his own master work of art created in Christ reborn from above spiritually transformed renewed and ready to be used ready to be used oh I, I don't think that I'm quite I've got to I mean I have to There's some things I'm working on. But if we look, we look at ourselves, but what God has done through us, through his son, Jesus Christ, you're ready. And it is him that is working in us for his will and his good pleasure. And I believe by just continuing to say it, and believe it, 
God's going to work. He's working it out. He's working it in us. Amen. So to God be the glory. Thank God for being his workmanship. And I do pray that you have been encouraged also by the word. Amen. Amen. Wow. We'll go early tonight, but I just want to just put a little icing on the cake. What you got, Willie? Yeah, come on. You got some? Papa Rick, can you come down, please? While uh, Sis was preaching, it was just really, it was really weird, Pastor. I mean, this has never happened to me before. So I, I, I started getting this tingling in my nose and around my mouth. And I saw like this shape like this over the mouth. And the Lord told me to call Rick down and pray for him because aren't you, did you already take your CPAP test or you're going to? No. Okay, okay, good. Come on up, Missy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Lord told me to pray for you. Hallelujah. My goodness. I'm like, wait a minute now, Lord. I mean, this, this ain't, but he said, pray for that man. Mother's case had the CPAP test. Okay. But he has been having lots of trouble breathing. Mm. Not being able to breathe. Okay. Hold up, hold so the hold the mic. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hold the yeah. mic. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, 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 okay. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Stretch your faith tonight. Yeah. You heard the sister say mm -hmm. that we have a covenant. Yes. The name for the name of God when it comes to the covenant is El Barith. El Barith, the God of covenant. And I believe that he's also Jehovah Rophi, the God that heals. So God's going to heal your breathing if you receive it by faith. I believe, I believe it. This has never happened to me before, but I'm just going, yeah, I'm go going with the whole, I'm go. going by the Holy that's Spirit. That's exactly and I saw, yeah. I just, my whole, all this right here was tingling. And then I just saw this, you know, and, and the Lord said, pray for Rick. So I said, okay, Lord, we're going to do it. Yeah. So lift your hands, my brother. Amen. Father, we're going to anoint you in the name of the Father, yeah. the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord, I pray for Papa Rick, Father God. Yes. Lord, I pray for his breathing right now, Lord, that you are, you are El Barith, Father God. You, he has a covenant of healing, Father God, and you are Jehovah Rophi, Father God. So, Lord, your word said that when you, when you breathe the breath of life into man, he woke, Father God. And in the name of Jesus, Lord, we speak breath, Lord. We speak that, that life, Father God, where he won't have breathing troubles, Father God. Lord, that you would touch his lungs, Father, that you would open his lungs, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus Lord that you will touch Rick Father God you will heal him Lord you will heal him Jehovah Rophi from the top of his head down to the bottom of his feet Father God that Lord when he sleeps he will sleep in peace Father God your word says that you grant your children sweet peace Father God as they rest Father God Lord open up those lungs Father God open up those lungs Father God open them up Father God open him up Father God for your glory Father God for your glory Father God for your glory Lord you said that these signs shall confirm your word Father this is a word man, Father God. This is a believer, Father God. This is one that is in covenant with you, Father God. So let your word prove itself in his body, Father God. Right now, in Jesus' name, we decree it and declare it, Father God. And we're going to give you praise in advance, Father God, for touching my brother, Father God, for touching him and opening him up, Father God that he can sleep in peace, Father. He can breathe at night, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive. Amen. Oh, we'll spend a little time in prayer there. 
Uh, Mary, come up. I think you're next. While he was praying, I heard this. Mary, Mary, Mary. I thought, Mary, Mary. Oh, Merry Christmas. No, Mary. Mary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants you to just, uh, just accept his love. Amen. Just accept his love. He loves you. Don't try to, just, just accept it. Father, I thank you that her mind and heart is open yes, just to receive. Just to receive yes, Father. yes, just to receive, Lord. Hallelujah. There's the times that we give, but we have to learn to receive. Yes. Lord, as many as received him, yes. God gave them the power and the authority to become sons and daughters yes, of God. Lord. Now, she has received Jesus receive. as her personal Savior. Hallelujah. And, Father, she receives his love in a greater de dimension now yes, that she's ever seen Hallelujah. yes Lord yes. yes Father may she see your love oh God how great is the love of God oh Lord I pray Lord in the name of Jesus that she might be able to sense and understand and experience the depth the width the length and the height of your love yes Lord and I take authority now over every lie of the devil and I bind the powers of hell and I command you to loosen her mind in the name of Jesus. Be set free, my daughter, in the name of Jesus. Be free, for he loves you. Yes, he loves you. You're not the least in your house. No, there's no partiality in God. You are loved by God himself Hallelujah. in Jesus' Jesus name. Woo! In Jesus' name. Whoa! Yes, Lord, let it go. I feel as I sense. Yes, Lord, it go. it's going now. I sense it's going. How many agree with me? Huh? Something's leaving. Oh, yeah, let it go. All of that goes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, peace. 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 I sprinkle the blood over your mind, your heart, your body, your life. You are loved. Wow, Mary. Woo. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, no more shackles on your feet, girl. Thank you. No shackles on your feet. That's right. Hallelujah. You're free. You're free to run. You're free to run. You're free to run. Run, run. Oh, yeah. You're free to run. Oh, yeah. You're free. Free, 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 free. free. Oh, I'm going to do one more thing. Father, I take authority over any generation curses. In the past, I break every generation curse in the name of Jesus. Every generation curse. Loosen her in the name of Jesus. Loosen her now. In Jesus' name, she's free. The blood of Christ has washed and cleansed and redeemed her. In Jesus' name, she is the workmanship of God himself. Thank you, Lord. Wow, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes, Lord. All right, anybody else, anybody else, they feel you really need prayer tonight. You, you really need to come up because the anointing is here. You need, okay, sit right here. Pray for her, Willie, pray for her. Any particular thing you want to be prayed for? Well, I had a procedure, a health procedure. Okay, come tell, tell him what you need, to, what you want him to pray for you. He's going to pray for you. I did okay. have a and we're going to agree with him. Okay. A medical procedure. Okay. Done. Okay. And I'm praying for a clean record. Okay. Amen. 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 I believe in God. Amen. Okay. Jesus. Uh, 
Genesis with your hands. Anybody else needs to come up? Yeah. Come on up. Anoint Join the crowd. The, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. What's your name, Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Created in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, like the sister said. You're his workmanship. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you, Father God. Ta 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 karabako. Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you created this body, Father God. You know every intricacy of this body, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Horabakaya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's, he, he, he's, he's touched your body and your body's healing, but he's got other things that he's trying to heal as well. Other areas that you've just left dormant. Areas of pain, maybe areas of hurt, areas of frustration, areas of bitterness. Horabakaya. Don't be afraid. He loves you. He loves you. And he has a specific path that he's, he's, he's put you on for you to fulfill. Only you can fulfill that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why the word says that he's trying to that, uh, uh, put off everything that so easily hinders us from running. You're a sprinter. You're supposed to be running in the Holy Ghost. And, he, and you've known that since you was a little girl. Is that, is that on point? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Since you was a little girl. Mm -hmm. yes. Since a little girl, he's been talking to you. Yes. And you've had your ups and your downs. Am I correct? Yes. You've had your ups and your downs. But he says, I want to give you more ups than downs. <laughs> See, that's, that's why he's healing your body, to show himself to you. He's showing himself to you, being real with you. But how much is that being reversed? Come on now. I'm just, I'm just, just a mouthpiece. Yes. How much of that is being, he's being real to you, but are you being to him? Because he has a whole nother level, sis. And you've been kind of, I, I mean, is this on? Is this, is this on or what now? I mean, I, I'm, I'm just. Well, okay. kind of, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But you got to receive now. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 you know, he just wants you to receive. Because he loves you so much. Yes. He loves you so much. Just like the sister was praying. So much. Yes. And, and all of us, all of us, we, we, we have these things that we, we just want to like keep in the closet and throw away the key, you know. But, you know, the Lord says, man, I'm, I'm trying to knock on that door. And, and, but you got to open that thing up so that I can bring that life into you, life that you never even experienced before, life that you, you don't even, you, 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 you desire it and you may know it here, but it's not manifesting like you, like you really would, like you know it should be manifesting. Amen? Amen. Amen. So just continue, just to, thank you, Holy Ghost, continue pursuing your daddy. And at those times when you got to crawl up in daddy's uh, lap and just mm -hmm. sit and let him hold you. Because I, I you know, and it was, it's kind of twofold because I was thinking, you know, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me and he says, I love it when my children oh, act yeah. like children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get so, yeah. we get so yeah. adult like that we yeah. don't forget yeah. that he says, it's the children yeah. that need yeah. to come unto me. Yeah. It's the childlike faith that gets mm -hmm. us into heaven. So sometimes yeah. we just need to step outside of ourselves and just be childlike yeah. once again. Now, you know, unfortunately, some of us have rough childhoods, you know, yeah. and, and that kind of makes it even more difficult. But daddy says, I just need you just to crawl up in my lap in those days and just let me put my arm around you and just let me hold you. Yeah. 
Let me squeeze you. And let me love, just love on, lavish my love on you. Just lavish his love on you. But let him, let him do that, continue to do that, that little tweaking that he's trying to do, you know, and, and, receive, and receive him, you know. Like I said, I'm just, as a, you know, saying, so just let him love, let him love on you and just let him, let him just, do, 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 you know, like a little surgeon, you know, do, 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 do that work, do that work, do that work. Yeah. And, that's, and that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing, ma'am. Yeah. That's Amen. what he desires to do, but we have to, again, open that door up so he can do it. Yes, ma'am. And this is what the Lord is saying, just to uh, put a little ice on what he's saying. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden mm. and overburdened, yes. and I will cause you to rest. Mm. I will ease and relieve and refresh your soul. Yeah. Take my yoke upon you mm. and learn of me, for I am gentle and meek and humble, lowly in heart, yes. and you will find rest, mm. relief and ease and refreshment and recreation and blessed quiet mm. for your souls mm. for my yoke is wholesome yeah. useful and good not harsh not hard not sharp or pressing but comfortable gracious pleasant yeah. and my burden is light mm. and easy to be born Father, so in the name of, amen go, go ahead in the name of jesus yes. Father lord Thank you that your burdens are easy and your yokes of life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Like sister, we are your workmanship, yes. Father, and you never give up on us. Yeah. Sometimes we give up on ourselves so easily, but Lord, you never give up on us, yeah. Father God. Yeah. And thank you, Lord, yeah. just like a good parent, Father, when there's those areas that need improvement. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That like a kind, gentle father, you will come and say, this is what needs to be fixed. This is what I want to help you on. This is what hurts you. I understand that. Let me, let me help you so that you can grow and, and you can be at peace and you can be at rest. And you don't have to be anything but yourself in my eyes. Just be yourself and let me love you as I, as I have before you were even born. Bless my sister, Father God. Bless her with this, this newfound peace, Father God. Peace that she's never experienced before. And thank you, Lord, that your word says, and it's this peace that would guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus, Lord. So let this peace stand guard, Father God. Let it be like a, the National Guard, Lord, standing, Lord, as soon as anything, as soon as the enemy comes to rob her, to disrupt, Father God, her peace, automatically peace will stand up and say, no, my God gave me this peace. I am peace. Because I have the Prince of Peace in me, Father God. Let her run in this peace, Father. Let her meditate on this peace, Father God. And just watch how those dark things that may try to hinder her just be washed away. And let the newness of life just spring forth, Father God, from this day forth. In Jesus' name we declare it. Decree it and declare it. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Amen. amen. You may be seated. Anybody else need prayer? Everybody clear? Okay. All right. Let's pray and we'll be dismissed.